Everybody's got something to work on. Everybody. Everybody. That's why I came up with 12 disciplines. It's a, a guide to help you on and off the basketball court. Um, because at one point, we all going to get to this point. Two things. End of our basketball career and death. It deals with sport and it deals with life. And the 12 disciplines of hoop life um, is just a way of helping you push through both. So um, please don't take it lightly. You got to have a purpose, you know, and what you're doing and something that helps wake you up in the morning and drives you, something that keeps you from sleeping, um, you know, and got to have confidence in yourself and what you're doing. Um, we didn't know what two plus two. We didn't know how to get to that until we were taught. Then we learned it, and it's um, natural. You know, so that's the same thing with basketball. If you didn't know how to do a layup, you just got to get to the basics and know doing a left-hand layup, coming in on the left-hand side, you walk the right foot, you raise your left leg, you lay it up. Same thing with right-handers who can't do it, who are left-handers. And it's awkward. But before you know it, you can do it at full speed. And that's what you'll need when you're playing. In life, you're figuring out what you want to be. And <clears throat> you find out about it, what moves you. And you go ahead and do that. And then you go at it step by step. And sooner or later, you progress to a full speed. And then you just improve on that. So, uh, attitude, it's got to be focused. Attitude has to be genuinely respectful. And um, to take your place in open doors, man, how you act and your attitude. Um, whether you're mad and you can't control it, that's cool. You got to learn how to control it or you're happy. And you can control it. Sometimes you can't control being happy. So it's a balance on both ends. As much as the negative stuff you can get out on the bad, leave it over there, man. You know from experience that it will uh, tell you that you don't like that feeling. And you don't like the way it makes you feel. And then when you like this, you know what that makes you feel. Like. It's hard to be mean and smiling, huh? <laughs> so, um... Yeah, you got to have confidence in yourself after your attitude is straight. Then you got to concentrate on what you're doing. You know, you can't be doing a whole bunch of things at one time. Throw those blinders on. But you know, you know, you got to concentrate on it. Down one, you just got fouled. Two seconds left to go in the game. You made hundreds of foul shots. That's why it's good to have a foul shot routine because you can calm your nerves and emotions to a point where you focus in you do what you're supposed to do, and 90% of the time it's going to go in. <clears throat> That's where you want to get to 90%, and it's easier. Concentrate. Concentrate on your outcomes. You know, in, in business, you have uh, stages. So the stage you want to get to, you start, you get to this next stage, you propel, you look forward, you get yourself set up for that, and you move towards it. Do all the things necessary to get there and push past it. Basketball life, attitude, energy, effort, both almost one and the same, but they're not. You know, energy is transferable. Effort is also. Both of those are controllable. You know, you can have a negative energy, shoulders falling down after a turnover, and you stand back and watch the rest of the game go by flat tire, pull off on the side of the road, watch the cars go by, or you can fix your tire and get back on the road. Clap that turnover, get back in the game. You know? It's so close, man. So, give your highest energy. Effort will follow. 
get you engaged with the game, diving on the floor, getting that ball when you think you couldn't get to it, but you know if you give effort, it's a possibility that you can. You never know until you get out there and you do it. So try. Mm -mm. Trying is a part of it, yes, but do. Get trying out. Do. You know, you have to prepare, you know, on both ends, both spectrums. You know, preparing is practice. Preparing is reps. <clears throat> and you got to be serious about it. You got time to play after. You know, you got time to play after, but the dogs get down and get it. You know, and if you ain't serious about it, you're not ready. Dad always told me, man. Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. <laughs> you know? Keep it moving. You know, prepare, man. Eat right. You know, know what it does to your body. Between the ages of, you know, 12 and 17, that's five years of growth where most males get their growth. You know, 18, you know? And then that, you know, final stages of growth is between 18 and 21. You can grow a little bit after that, but... Now you're getting into your size and into your body and your frame is filled out. Now all you got to do is just add muscle, you know. So um, you got to eat right to build on that that stage of growth. You can get a couple of inches in there if you do it right, maybe, you know. Um, image. Um, you know, it's what people, you know, see from the outside first. I don't even know you. They see you from afar and they see how you act. You know, you want your image to be intact to the point where it's like, you know, it's outstanding on a good thing, not outstanding on a, oh, look at that hard head over there. You know what I mean? So, uh, guard your image, guard it. <laughs> Which ties in with character is um, how you are, you know, what you are. Oh, no, nah, he wouldn't do that. You know, people see you as like, no, uh -uh, no. Nah. Oh, yeah, yeah, he would. Because <laughs> I, yep, you know what I'm saying? So your character is uh, <clears throat> something you lay your hat on. You can be uh, dependent upon. You know, people can call you and entrust you with information that you know that won't go no further than you. You know, so that's trust. Teammates have to have that. In the role of life, you know. Husbands and wives have to have it. Brothers and sisters have to have it. Fathers to sons, fathers to daughters, mothers to sons and daughters. Same thing. You gotta have trust. Builds chemistry where your team within, now you can work out. Self discipline. <sighs> tough one, man. It's tough. That's just like <sighs> setting a schedule and sticking to it. You know, some people are made to stick to a nine to five. You better get there. You know, people are watching. You know, or you can work for yourself, create your own schedule. That's a little harder sometimes because it gives you a lot of free time. So you can't waste your time. You got to, you know, keep going towards your outcome. Set it up. Use your talents to get there. You know, <sighs> passion. You don't love what you do. You don't love what you do, man. It puts you in that constant rat race of a cycle. Of like, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I don't know yet what I do. What I do. You, <clears throat> those who have figured it out, you know, you can always move on to something else. But whatever you know you love, it's in your heart. Gives you goosebumps. Gives you joy. Um, find out what that is and make a living in it. And that way you'll be truly happy instead of building other people's dreams. Which you have to do, you know, to get what you need. So, But as soon as you figure out what it is you want to do, work towards it. And um, that will give you that extraordinary performance. You know, it's just a finalization and the progress of fruition of your progress. You know, things coming into play. 
you have arrived. And now it's time to build on that arrival. You know, so um, from there, you know, on that walk, you'll you'll get things to happen. You know, like in my basketball walk, one time I scored 52 points in a game without the three-point line. That's back in in the 80s. And um, one time I was hurt and I missed my first seven threes in this game and I made my last one right before halftime. And then in the second half, I made 10 in a row. Ended up being 11 threes in a row, you know, and we won the game. My groan was killing me. I wasn't driving, just shooting. And um, one time in college, uh, I scored like 18 points in 11 minutes. Had like five assists. And uh, we was down 20 before I came in the game and uh, got us all the way back to two. Tied it up and we ended up losing by a tip at the buzzer. Off a foul shot. Ah. But, you know, those are things that come out that are extraordinary performances. And, you know, in life, being a dad is an extraordinary performance. Seeing your daughter and son come into the world. So it's an extraordinary performance by wifey. <laughs> so um, those are 12 disciplines. Use them in um, both basketball and life. And it help you drive and it help you get to your outcome and push past it. And have God first, love second, family third, basketball fourth. Round it up and you got it all. <laughs>